Welcome back to Maximum Leverage. What is it? Simply, it's the difference between a thriving and successful online home-based business and one that's ultimately doomed to fail. What it's really all about is getting maximum online exposure for your efforts, generating maximum leads, making maximum profit, and recruiting the maximum number of prospects possible with minimum time, energy, and complexity on your part. What we're going to discuss in this lesson is how to develop rock solid relationships with your prospects. Really the core of this lesson is the difference between a mediocre business and a wildly successful one. If you're just getting started, what this lesson is going to provide for you is the proper foundation for developing relationships with your prospects the right way. If you've been in business for a while, what this lesson is going to provide for you is actually pretty cool. If you take what you learn in this lesson and apply it to your business, you can see immediate increases in profits. So let's get right to it. So before we get into the core of today's lesson, let's just review where we've been so far. In lesson one, we identified the core factors of a maximum leverage business. You focus on three things, leads, relationships like we're going to discuss today, and profits, and you put your business in a position where you're literally forced to win. In lesson number two, we talked about how to attract prospects without being a guru. It's all about finding the ideal prospect and entering into the correct mind state of your prospect. And then just giving them what they want. Lesson three, we discussed a couple of my favorite cool ninja lead getting secrets. So where we're going next, so you have a good map of where we are so far in the lesson, is after we talk about how to develop relationships with your prospects, we're going to flip the switch and talk about how to turn your prospects into cash instantly. In the final lesson, what we're going to talk about is one of my favorite zero resistance recruiting strategies. I think you really like that lesson. So what's in this lesson? It's a light bulb. Really, if you take this mindset, this paradigm shift in building relationships, the whole dynamic of your business changes. So we're going to talk about who cares about relationships anyway. We're going to talk about the core drivers of relationships with your prospects. We're going to talk about who you've got to be to develop relationships out there in the internet world. And then I'm going to describe for you the simplest prospect relationship building system on the planet. So who cares about relationships anyway? And as you can see, it says you should, and you should if developing and creating a long-term stable business is important to you. So what I've got here is just a quick screenshot of one of my merchant accounts. And as you can see here, there's about $1.465 million in this account. And I can tell you flatly, honestly, that if it were not for what I'm sharing with you in this lesson, that merchant account wouldn't look that way. So if profits are important over the course of time, you should definitely care about relationships. And that's just to mention the, the merchant account proof. Of course, there's also the checks that come in monthly, the multiple streams of income. So what relationships really lead to in your business is lifelong income. So if you want to create a business that thrives and grows, you should really, really pay close attention to this lesson and make your business about relationships. So the proactive forging of relationship in your business leads to a highly profitable, predictable, stable lifestyle business. That's what maximum leverage is really all about. Creating a business that thrives, generates income very consistently and easily so that we can really go out and live the lives that we want to live. Be free. There's no simpler way for me to say it to you than this. Selling what a lot of people do out there online absolutely can make you money. But what relationships will do for your business is they'll make you wealthy over the long term. So 
Here's my story about the power of relationships. I really got my start in understanding what relationships do for a business when I got involved with my first opportunity. See, I started my first team and we started to have success pretty quickly. There were a lot of people coming into the business and I was really just getting kind of comfortable, if you can even call that, in my leadership shoes. I didn't really know what to do. So what I started to do was I just started to email everyone in my group pretty consistently. And what happened was what I really saw, and please don't think me a hippie for this because I'm really not. I'm a very numbers and pragmatic sort of a person. But when I shared through email, just simple text emails, what our business that we were growing together meant to me, why I was so passionate about it, everything that I wanted to do and, and grow with everyone on the team with me together, a lot of people really started to pick up on that stuff. It was like the light bulb went off in their head and they said, wow, this thing that we're a part of, maybe it can change our lives. And what happened was a lot more energy was created in them. It's like they took my spark and used it for their own business. They gained, they gained confidence in themselves and went out and really started to grow. And as a result, they duplicated. So first off, being yourself and just sharing your passion with those you work with in your home business opportunity does not hurt. A lot of people don't realize the value that they're sitting on unless you tell them and unless you share it with, with you know, the unique energy that you have. So that's all I'm going to say in terms of hippiness and transference of energy. But really, when you put yourself out there and you tell people what you're about in your business and why you're there and how you want to help, and what the value truly is in what you're doing, they really pick up on it and they increase their activity and, and they really do go out and duplicate. So, but I really didn't truly get what relationships were until I went to a, a seminar. It was called the Underground Online Seminar. It was a few years back and I heard a guy named John Alanis speak about daily communications with his prospects. Now, if you do a Google search, you'll find John, and uh, he's a great guy and a very smart marketer, and I suggest you look out for him, but he really is what made the relationship switch go off in my head. It finally clicked. So what happened was I took what he talked about on stage back to my business, and within a week, I remember my business was about, I mean, it was far less than one-tenth the size that it is right now. But I remember I went back in that first week, I made an extra thousand dollars just doing what John told me to do. Over the course of a month, my business doubled. Why? Just because I played the relationship game the way that he told me to do it. So what relationships ultimately led to over the course of months was the ability to really create income and recruit at will. So as you hone your skill, you really do create a ton of value and equity in your business. So here's what I learned from John. He called it, and this definitely isn't my, my training, this is just me transferring what I learned from a master to you, the principles of, of the attractive character. So in other words, who you gotta be in order to have people to listen to you and to develop relationships the right way in your business. So one of the first principles was you gotta have a story. Tell people who you are, what you're doing, why you're, why you're doing what you're doing. And see, the thing is, your story doesn't have to be some magnificent rags to riches story or you don't have to be, you know, some genius. All you need is just to be yourself, have a story. Be a likable authority. And so here's what this means, because I know what people tend to think about the word authority is, well, I have to be an expert. When I started to apply what John taught in my own business, here's how I took that definition. Take the excitement from what I'm learning and share it with others. Share what I'm learning so that they can be better off for it. That's all being a likable authority is. Sharing what you're doing in an excited, fun way. Another principle of the attractive character is 
don't be scared to get personal. If you follow along with my emails for any length of time, you know that every now and then I'll pop out a story about crackheads and and uh, my apartment building horrors or any number of crazy things. Why? Because people don't really know you until they know you. So don't be scared to put yourself out there. So here's some more of the principles of the attractive character. Simply be who you are. I've already said this, but there's a hidden benefit in being who you are. See... I know one of the things that we're taught to do in the home business industry, which I don't believe in at all, is to like fake it till you make it, right? Uh, Put on the Armani suit, go out and tell people you're making a ton of money, but you're not. And what that does when you're not being yourself, you're not being authentic, is it creates an internal stress. It's hard to really thrive long term when you're doing something that's artificial, right? That's why we for a large part, don't like our jobs because we don't get to be ourselves and do what we really love to do. So one of the key factors in becoming a, an attractive character that people want to get to know better is to be yourself. And the benefit is there's no stress. When you do what you love and you're who you are doing what you love, man, there's no better place to be in the world. Stand for something. So simple example of standing for something is I hate calling leads. I'm all about recruiting without calling leads. I stand for that. Find something that you can stand for. And what it will do, it doesn't matter what it is. You could have the exact opposite stance that I have. But what it does is it polarizes your audience. The people that like you are going to like you more because they believe in the same things you believe in. The people that don't like you are going to not like you even more and they're going to go away. So it really lets you develop the most rock solid relationship possible with the people that really, really, really are on the same plane of thinking that you are. So stand for something and don't be scared about it. Just if this is who you are, if you hate recruiting on the internet and you love calling leads, man, stand for that. And you're going to find a crowd that stands for that with you. Like I said, in standing for something, it basically splits the world into us versus them. We're polarizing our audience, right? That creates the tension that really starts to turn into entertainment. One of the most important critical factors to the attractive character is to entertain. And the reason why you got to entertain above all else is, number one, people need to be entertained. We like to be entertained. It's fun to be entertained, right? That's why we show up. We want to see what crazy thing happens next. So entertain. Analogy is this. Teachers get paid a salary. Great entertainers get paid a lot more. So if you just teach, if you fall into, I guess, the the trap or the mistake of just teaching all the time, you're not really transferring the best value you possibly should. So entertain, have fun. You have more fun when you entertain. So those are the principles of the attractive character. So here's how you put this in your business. You simply communicate like a radio show does. Think about Howard Stern. What does he do? He's an attractive character. He just gets out there on a daily basis and talks about what he talks about. The people that love him tune in. The people that hate him tune in. And it's a fun, entertaining interaction nonetheless. So daily content, whatever you're going to talk about, whatever story, whatever lesson you want to convey, and Just like in a radio show, a commercial. Really, that's all you got to do. Daily, consistent communication with a commercial. And your business will thrive. So, never to be one that says to do something without doing it. What I provided here is just another screenshot. This is from one one of my autoresponders. And what you can see here is I pretty much practice what I preach. You can see here that for this one autoresponder, and there's several in this particular autoresponder, um... I've written 1,392 emails. I wouldn't do it if it wasn't important. So I practice what I preach. So reasons why this works so well. Number one, people are bored. Like I said, we all need entertainment. People show up to be entertained, not so much to be taught every day. We we like learning things. We're entertained by learning things, but we're entertained by other things that aren't just learning. So expand, tell stories. 
share happenings, entertain. People are bored. They need something, and they want something to look forward to every day. Be that. Now, the hidden benefit behind why this daily communication process works so well for you is it keeps you in the game mentally. So in other words, as you're thinking about what to talk to your audience about on a daily basis, what are you really doing? You're keeping yourself inside of the business. You're speaking the business language. You're moving yourself forward. It really helps to accelerate you to the next level, and it keeps you energized. Once you get in the habit of this, and I've noticed every now and then when I break my habit, you, you lose energy. So it's really more powerful than just keeping people entertained and developing a relationship. It keeps your mind laser focused on the most important factors that are going to drive your growth in ways that you don't even know. And what it really does, consistency forges to true trust in your prospects. So let's talk about that for a second. So how to create trust. It's a very simple process. And the way that I always like to think about it is an analogy. Think about it when you, what do you do the first thing when you get out of bed in the morning? Well, for most people, it's, you know, hitting the alarm clock, hitting the snooze button 12 times. And the funny thing is, is I actually do that too. I haven't, I don't even know why, but I have my alarm clock. It goes off at 10 a.m. and I don't really need to get up at 10 a.m. So I hit the thing five, 10 times, get up around 11, but I still have it there. But what do you do next after you hit the alarm clock? Well, you pull up the covers and you step on the ground. When you step on the ground, do you ever, do you ever think for a second that the ground won't be there? I don't. I pretty much think it's going to be there. Why? And this is, this is the core of trust. Why? Because every single time that you've ever gotten out of bed, the ground's always been there to meet you. Consistency. It's always there. So consistent communication leads to implied trust. If you show up every day, people start to say, well, there's something to this person. In fact, if I don't send out a daily communication, I'll get people that email and say, are you okay? And that's real trust. Implied trust over time turns into real trust. And once you've got real trust in a marketplace, you've created true value. You've done your job. And you're going to become wealthy. So simply consistently communicating with your prospects leads to true value in your business just by sharing who you are, entertaining, having a story, taking a stance, and growing. That's how to create trust. So there's no truer statement than I can give you than this. An email a day will keep the job away. At least it has for me. It's literally the simplest and most powerful thing you can do to take your business to the next level. So we could get more advanced into all this stuff, but we really don't need to at this point. If you can just take from this lesson and commit to this one simple task, I guarantee you it will change your life. So as I was putting together this slideshow for this lesson, I was thinking of what's really the best way that I can really bring this point home. And so that's what the next slide I have for you really does. So hopefully this brings full clarity to how powerful this daily communication thing is. So as you can see here, this is the same slide from before from my autoresponder, 1,392 emails. As you can see on the bottom, $1.465 $1.465 million. If someone said to you, hey, you know, I'll give you $1.465 million if you just write 1,392 emails, would you do it? I know I would. As you can see, I have. Communication, development of relationship leads to wealth. And I don't know any more powerful way to show you than this. Take this lesson to heart, install it in your business, and I can't hear, I can't wait to hear your success stories. So, quick reminder, 
what we've got next on the plate is how to turn your prospects into cash. That's what we're going to talk about in the next lesson. It's where the rubber meets the pavement. In the last lesson, we're going to talk about zero resistance recruiting, one of my favorite strategies. So I'll see you in the next lesson. I'd love to hear your comments. Love to hear what you got out of this and uh, anything. Don't be scared. Let me hear it.